there's only one depolarizing neuromuscular blocking drug used clinically, and that's succinamethonium. It's essentially two acetylcholine molecules linked by their acetyl groups, meaning it actually works as an agonist at the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, but because it can't be metabolized by acetylcholine esterase, the receptors rapidly become desensitized. So what you'll see within seconds of injecting succinamethonium is muscle fasciculations followed by profound paralysis, which lasts for up to six minutes. The dose of succinamethonium is one to two milligrams per kilogram, given IV. Intubating conditions are then achieved within 30 to 60 seconds of injection, so it's pretty ideal for rapid sequence intubation. In an emergency situation with no IV access, the IM dose is three to four milligrams per kilogram. Succinamethonium is metabolized by butyl cholinesterase, also known as pseudocholinesterase or plasma cholinesterase, and has a duration of action of two to six minutes. In terms of its cardiovascular effects, you may notice a degree of bradycardia. GI-wise, it actually increases intragastric pressure, but also increases the tone of the lower esophageal sphincter. It's also important to note that it increases intraocular pressure, which certainly needs to be considered in certain ophthalmology cases and in patients with already raised intraocular pressure. Postoperatively, patients may also complain of painful muscle aches, and a transient rise in serum potassium is also expected. And this isn't too much of a problem in patients with normal renal function and a baseline normal potassium, but can of course be very dangerous in patients with poor renal function and or an already raised potassium. There are two rare complications of succinamethonium that you definitely need to be aware of, but we won't go into great detail here. The first one is succinamethonium apnea, which is caused by a genetic mutation in butyrylcholinesterase, leading to a much more prolonged neuromuscular block. And the second one is malignant hypothermia, which is caused by a genetic mutation in the ryanodine receptor on the sarcoplasmic reticulum. And that leads to uncontrolled muscle contraction, a severe hypermetabolic state, pyrexia and rhabdomyolysis. This is an anaesthetic emergency and needs immediate recognition and management by senior anaesthetists. Mm -hmm.